Hello friends, I am Prashant. I welcome you to Educational Stuff YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing uh, one of the articles published in the Hindu newspaper. The first article is part one of the editorial. Today is 26th May 2000. This article focuses on with no consensus on health monitoring of passengers among states, travel remain risky. Even after the long negotiations with states and with a truncated schedule, the center had found it difficult to relaunch domestic flights. Several were cancelled and the first day services were resumed after being frozen on March 25th. Some chief ministers expressed apprehension about the premature resumption of civil aviation as the spread of COVID-19 is unrelenting. But the quarantine monitoring has its limits. The experience of the flight cancellations, passenger frustration and low capacity among the states to track thousands of passengers uh, should be prompt a rethink of scheduled flights. Access to emergency of air travel in a large country is a legitimate expectation and a targeted program run eff efficiently can meet that need, need. Going back to the drawing boards to draft a plan for emergency travel using documentation and aggregation of such passengers may be short term option. The risk associated with the domestic aviation have multiplied due to early missteps in several states that is mass gatherings, political events and consumer crowding for panic buying have resulted in major transmission clusters. Enabling scheduled travel through national policy whether by air or rail could be seen as a reasonable effort only when the state governments are fully prepared and adopt a uniform code of practice. Within the lockdown, the virus crisis has snowballed only in the states such as Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Gujarat and in Delhi but the picture could change with the operations of daily flights, a couple of hundred scheduled trains from June 1st and the large number of promised Shamik special trains for migrant workers. It is essential therefore for the states to adopt a coordinated approach on quarantine and testing. Travel choices in the present phase should be designed to discourage optional journeys. Moreover, passengers on all flights including relief flights could have a lower risk if the airlines and the government keep the middle seats vacant as decided by the DGCA on March 23. There is no reason to think that the pandemic has begun to win. The global aviation map shows that even market economies placing great emphasis on individual freedom have severely limited travel are making expectations only for returning citizens. Relaxing travel must be preceded by focused containment measures and agreed pro protocol for the states. This is regarding the early takeoff and thanks for joining me. Goodbye.